Once upon a time, countries in the world stood out with the size of their lands. States with more land also meant stronger states, but over the centuries, the concept of a strong state has changed and the strength of a country has become independent of the size of the land it owns. In today's modern world, there are very powerful countries despite having a tiny land area. So, the symbol of power is now measured by economic power and technology friends at this point. We will talk about a poor country with an enormous land area and at the same time a very crowded population. Imagine such a country that 95 it has a population of 1 million people and appeals to a huge area of 2,350,000 square kilometers. It is one of the countries that can be called the heart of the African continent, located in the very center of Africa or in other words, in the middle. It was in the 1800s when millions of people lived a primitive life, earning less than $1 per day. It is a poor country that was exploited by Belgium and France from the 1960s until 1960. Since it is located in the center of Africa, it has many border neighbors. For example, Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Tanzania and Angola are among the other African countries neighboring the Democratic Republic of Congo. The unit is the Congolese franc, however, when you go to this country, you can make purchases with a credit card instead of cash. Additionally, it is forbidden to take Congolese francs out of the country. You must convert the Congolese money you have into dollars before leaving the country. Otherwise, you cannot leave the country. The average adult in the country is 30 to 35,000 Congolese francs per month. This means approximately 13 for American dollars. Well, let's say you put some Congolese francs in your pocket and want to shop at the market. What do you think about the prices and how? Valuable is the dollar in this country. First of all, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, bread is often bought from street vendors. The current price is 300 Congolese francs, that is, about 10 cent. These loaves of bread are among the cheapest foods in the country. For example, if you buy the famous drinks made of pomegranate syrup from a street vendor, you have to pay 20 cent, or if you want to buy three Oreos from the street, you will also have to pay 20 cent of Congolese. Franks, since transportation with minibuses is not very healthy in the country, if you want to go from one place to another by taxi, you need to make an agreement with the driver in advance because the taximeter system is not valid in most taxi drivers. An average taxi fare in the capital is for 1,000 Congolese francs, that is, $1.5 around. You can have a problem-free private transportation. These amounts may seem attractive to you, however, Congolese people cannot use these services comfortably. In addition, you cannot take photographs at the airport, in public buildings and in front of government palaces. Such buildings are considered national security points in the Democratic Republic of Congo and they do not allow details of the buildings to be taken in case of any attack. That is why soldiers are on guard against anyone with a camera in their hand. Moreover, the word Congo in the name of the country is actually a tribal name meaning hunter. There are more than 200 African ethnic groups and dozens of tribes in the country. The most people in the country are in their capital city of Kinsha with a population of 17 million. This population is over 90 million. If it is not officially spoken by the African country, as you can guess, it is French. In addition, the city of Kinshasa is the largest French-speaking megacity in the world. The fact that the city of China is crowded and known as the capital creates a modern city image in your mind, because when you walk around the bazaars of the city, even in the most central points, the roads are filled with mud and soil. Vehicles are generally motorcycles due to their cheap cost. The number of people with personal cars is quite low, but you can see plenty of local minibuses filled with people. Most of the houses do not have power lines. Even in houses with lines, power outages occur frequently. In addition, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the human waste coming out of houses waste is thrown all over the roads because there is no functioning municipal waste collection facility in the country. For this reason, there may be dozens of microbes in the air you overtake in the bazaar market. In fact, country, America, strongly recommends that we get the necessary vaccinations, such as malaria and yellow fever, while traveling in Africa for such reasons. The situation in the capital of the country is not just because they are exploited. There is tremendous corruption in the Democratic Republic of Congo, as in almost every African country. The main reason for corruption is, of course, lack of education and lack of merit. 
because almost all of those who seize power and office in the country come from a poor base. For example, this man was the head of the country in the 1970s and embezzled the state treasury of $5 billion belonging to the Congolese people. In 1996, the Congolese people rebelled and managed to overthrow him. But the problems did not end in the Democratic Republic of Congo because the leaders who came after him also could not save the country from corruption. Today, only 2% of the country lives in extreme luxury, and almost all of the families of these people are politicians working at the state level. The children of politicians never set foot in the areas called slums and hang out in the most elite parts of the country. There are also groups in the country that live in poor areas and dress like they are rich. These people are generally engaged in the music business and add color to the country with their cool clothes. They are always cheerful and harmless. Because of such corrupt leaders and their children, investments cannot be made in the country and the people live in a primitive way. For example, a person who goes market shopping does not even have a market car and they carry their food on their heads or trains. Since they cannot buy tickets for their travels, they get on the trains. If they are on public roads, they either work as porters, sweep the streets, or make a living by selling maggot-like things. Since it is very difficult to work for healthy meat in the country, people meet their protein needs with maggot-like things and some attempt even more difficult tasks. For example, they buy food from the cities. They hit the roads with their bikes to sell them in the villages. However, it is really difficult to do this in this country because the bikes cannot withstand the muddy roads and a real struggle for survival begins. Sometimes they cannot reach the villages in time and they get stranded with their muddy bikes in the middle of the night. It is almost impossible to ride their bikes in these bad lands. They use them as cargo vehicles and walk for kilometers themselves. Those who carry products with trucks between cities are not very lucky either. Trucks encounter many surprises on the road that are difficult to predict. Sometimes they pass through very narrow areas. Sometimes they get stuck in swamps and sometimes their wheels get stuck in a sharp object and explode. This creates a great change in the lives of the country. There is a security problem. Peace forces belonging to the United Nations are on the borders to prevent a possible war between African states. The main reason why diplomatic relations between African states are very bad is that unemployment and poverty lead them to the resources of other countries. The biggest of these resources is, of course, cobalt and cobalt in the region. They are valuable mineral deposits like gold. That's why rebel groups always target these places. There is no need to explain how valuable gold is. But if you ask why exactly cobalt is valuable, almost all of the lithium batteries you use in your phones and laptops today are made of cobalt. Friends, this is why cobalt is used for the devices in human life. It is a rare and vital material. In fact, Chinese companies discovered that the cobalt resource in this country would be valued years ago and bought 15 of the 19 companies in Congo. So, if you buy an electronic device produced in China today, you need to know that its raw materials are extracted from Congo. Even Chinese companies are in Congo. There are even gold exploration centers in the depths of the river. About 800 kilograms of gold are extracted from these rivers annually, and more than 90% of these gold mines go directly into the coffers of Chinese companies. In return for their labor, Congolese workers not only do not go hungry that day, but also go to bed with full bellies while working in the mines. There are also many disagreements and arguments. Sometimes Africans get out of control and get into fights because there is almost no concept of occupational safety in the workplace and many accidents occur during work, African locals rebel against company officials. Many African workers work in rivers as well as in mines. Support for clean water. People meet their water needs by drinking muddy water mixed with mud in the rivers. Although many say that their bodies have gotten used to it and they do not get sick, Drinking muddy water will cause vascular occlusion and block the digestive tract in the future. They are trying to deliver clean water in cans to some residential areas, but the population is so high, it is becoming almost impossible to deliver clean water to every corner of the country.
As soon as people see the clean water tankers, they run from their homes to the tanker with plastic containers and create a stampede. The drops of water flowing from the tanker are so precious that they do not want even a single drop to go to waste. Some Congolese families are no longer able to manage themselves, so they are founded by humanitarian aid organizations. They prefer to live in tents, of course, the number of tents is not enough. You need much more to feed 90 million people. African workers working in the mines are not happy with the situation at all. Because they extract minerals from the ground, with their faces and eyes covered in dirt, and their monthly salary is only $15. For this reason, Chinese companies are constantly being treated badly. In this sense, the Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the countries with the lowest labor costs. Indeed, the working conditions of these people are not acceptable. They can be buried under a rubble at any time, and their bodies remain to wet above the ground instead of robbing people. Some Congolese people completely isolate themselves and live a wild tribal life. They go deep into the forests with bows and arrows in their hands. They set traps and hunt animals. These people continue the traditions they inherited from their ancestors, and they do not like city life. But there are other problems waiting for them in the forests, and their lives are not far enough from danger. They may suddenly encounter a herd of gorillas while hunting. When they encounter gorillas, the smartest thing they can do is to run away and fight. No matter how well they know how to fight against nature, it has become difficult even for an African to deal with. Creatures like gorilla and lion. The country's hospitals are 50 years behind today in terms of emergency services, and the women in the country are in great psychological depression. Many women, together with their children, are recovering from the traumas they have experienced in rehabilitation centers. He is trying to come because all kinds of bad acts against women that you can think of are happening. Frequently throughout the country, after every civil war between tribes, many women are taken hostage and treated badly. From here, the following conclusion can be drawn. If life is one card difficult for men in a country, it is three times harder for women, my friends. No matter how hard the United Nations forces try to provide security, women and children are left in tears during village raids. Moreover, the children are completely hopeless about the future. They do not know which direction to take and cannot dream of a good life. The average age in the country is only 23, there are really too many people on the streets. There are small children, children, are running around almost every corner and most of them cannot go to school. When they see the camera, they smile at you and start following you. Families have as many children as possible. Because most of the children cannot live a long life, maybe a few of them will hold on to life and help with the work. Four to five children are raised. People's biggest entertainment in daily life is wrestling with each other. In Congo, men boast about their strength and invite the men they see as rivals to wrestle. If the man who is offered wrestling refuses, he is considered a coward. For this reason, these wrestling duels lead to great conflicts and excitement. It becomes a stage, people dance and sing while watching them. In the end, whoever's back touches the ground loses the wrestling match. On the other hand, since the Democratic Republic of Congo is located in the inner part of the African continent, it does not have a sea, but fishing can be done in the country. If you are wondering how this can happen, there is a huge giant in the west of the country. There is a river and it is known as the Congo River. People living in the western part go fishing with their boats to benefit from it and try to earn income. Some do not own boats and they aim to feed themselves by casting nets in. This high current river in short, the Democratic Republic of Congo is one of the most densely populated countries in Africa. And with this density poverty, people face security problems in the border areas and the people are largely unhappy. The education and healthcare system is at the most basic levels. There is great corruption and corruption in the country. Almost all of the precious metals are in the hands of foreign companies. And in order to achieve peace, they need to purify the country from foreign companies and bring in real patriotic people with merit to the management. Otherwise, the situation they are in will never improve. If you liked the video, you can support us in a very simple way. For this, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel in a new video. See you bye bye.